Hello there beautiful beings, welcome to my sacred space, it's Raven and thank you so much for being here. Tonight we are going to open the Energy Oracle Cards by Sandra Ann Taylor. So this is a deck I got off of Hay House along with several others that I didn't bother to shoot a video of because I just wanted to work with them straight away. <laughs> But this one, I somehow forgot about this one. I kind of kept it somewhere and, you know, I just saw it recently. So let's open it up. Okay. Oh, wow, this size. Um, comparison. Size comparison. Of course, um, same sturdy box, but this is a little thicker. Of course, I mean, I guess that would depend on the number of cards, right? So it is thicker. Um yeah maybe hang on let me get the wisdom of the oracle see i always like to give comparison for the cards and um the boxes for people who would want to know because you know it depends on how you store your cards i keep mine in a bookcase and you know size is important for me <laughs> because you know of the space right okay if you, th if you thought of something else naughty you anyway <laughs> So here you have energy oracle cards, right? 53 card deck. Wow, okay, 53 cards, nice, and guidebook, okay? So I'm going to give you a look at the sides. Bottom, this is published by Hey House, so... Okay, you know it came with a nice Hey House box. And in the back, you have three sample cards. You have the man holding a heart, door to value, and seventh chakra angel, Uriel. Uriel, okay. The energy ca oracle cards are designed to reveal both the present energy you project and the results you like to attract. Okay, so, alright, so what I'm going to do, um, I think since this is just one card, this is going to be um, a full flip through and so an unboxing, a flip through, and maybe a review. Or maybe I'll just do um, a deck relationship or deck appreciation post for this one sometime in the future once I get to work with it. But today I'm going to give you a flip through, okay? Oh wow. <laughs> Does it have a lock or something? It's, uh, it's very hard to open. Come on. There you go. Okay. Guidebook. Hmm. Okay. There's nothing in the back. Uh, the interior. Oh, okay. Oh wow. So this is a chonky, chonky guidebook. It's very thick. Um, the quality doesn't look um, really nice, I guess, but you know, it's fine. Um, and that's Sandra Ann Taylor, okay. This is, um, so who designed the cover? Trisha, Trisha Bredenthal, Bredenthal? And the cover illustration is by Jenna de la Grotalia. Okay. Props to the artists. Okay, so let's just have a look see of the guidebook. Okay, so this is the guidebook. Energy Oracle Card, Sandra Ann Taylor, Hey House. Okay, so this is quite um, thick. Thicker than the usual um, guidebooks. But I guess not as thick as Colette Baron Reed guidebooks. Um, this is published back in 2013 so it's um, it's kind of like an older deck and you know I just wanted to get one because I thought that these are nice even though it kind of I mean the art itself kind of looks just a little bit old-fashioned you know nothing like the old like um, um, Doreen Virtue decks that really that you would really know that okay that's from the 90s or the early 2000s right but this one uh, I guess deck um, aesthetics vary of course according to the time as well same with the art right so anyway so here you have some of this um, other books by Sandra Ann Taylor so she has several books and then CD and audio programs and they're all available. Oh, some of them are available. Most of them are actually available um, in Hay House. 
And then here you have the table of contents. So it's broken down into the meanings of the cards. Um, introduction about the card is reading on energy, how to read it, the card spreads, invocation, and then the meanings of the cards, and then about the artist and the author. And you have 53 cards in total. So here you have the introduction. Many years ago, it's, I'm just going to read it quickly. Many years ago, I was given a deck of cards to play with. The cards were tarot, and the play was seeing where my intuition might lead me. I was just in high school at the time, but psychic stuff wasn't new to me. Being an identical twin, I found it a natural experience to be able to read my sister's mind and even physically experience some of the things she was going through, although we were often miles apart. I think it's really cool. You know, I've always been very, very interested in things like that. Um, you know, psychic connections, cosmic connections between tw twins, and I just, I just think that's amazing. Okay, so here I guess she talks about, um, I think her journey um, to uh, where she is now. <laughs> you know, doing talks like uh, writing books about um, energy, I guess. And then the uh, so the, that's the first reason. And yeah, she wants to help us um, find a vehicle for us to, you know, that will help us open up our intuition. And then here she says, um, second reason I wanted to share these cards with you, energy. Everything is energy. Okay, every, uh, you, me, these cards and this information spreading around us. Oh my god, Magnus. <sighs> Seriously, buddy? What is <laughs> Hey. So this guy is now like the What are you doing? You're trying to steal the show again. Just relax. Okay. So the second one is of course she wants us to I don't know and uh, identify, learn and address or I, I can't read. Just move. <laughs> she wants us to, you know, um get in touch with her energy and um, find more information about it so that, you know, I guess we can um, stop it. <laughs> Direct our destiny through um, the energy that we have. Okay, so that's pretty cool. It's a very long um, introduction as well. And then here she talks about the cards. Um, okay, it says here, um, the energy oracle cards are designed to indicate our present energy as well as future possibilities since we know that the universe exists in a constant state of flow or flux we must realize that all readings whether with cards or through psychics reveal the energetic potential of things therefore it is very liberating to know that as we shift our consciousness we can also shift events that come our way okay so really nice introduction and then she goes on how to re um, read oracle cards Okay, anything that will jump out at me? She's saying that these cards can also be used therapeutically. Okay, and then preparing for a reading. So this is kind of like your ritual on how to cleanse your cards before you start using them. And then here you have some spreads. Um, one card pool, three card spread, seven card cross, nine. Wow, okay. The road. Okay, so she has quite a lot of spreads there. And then here an invocation before you start um, or when you start to bless your cards and then on to the meanings okay cool so wow nice all right so in the guidebook <laughs> magnus in the guidebook babe <laughs> i'm sorry please ignore it so in the guidebook you have um, a black and white image of the card and the title new beginnings and great creativity so a little bit um keywords over there and then oh she has upright and reverse meanings oh cool okay but i guess you know it it does depend on the reader if you want to do reversed and yeah reverse meanings reverse readings okay so you have the upright reversed and an affirmation towards the end okay so it's very chunky she has a lot of information per card oh anxiety so this is something, you know, that's worth reading, I guess. But of course, you can always just rely on your intuition. I think that's a great way um, before you read the guidebook. 
the I mean what I do is I just sit uh, with the cards first and I have a look and I try to connect with them have a feel of what they want to say what what messages they would like to convey what it is that draws me in specifically in this artwork you know kind of like this one you know um, there's so many things happening of course the, the idea or the main focus of the card is the sun but you also see her and apparently she's holding some sort of like this is that even it what do you call that the palette for the painter i don't know is that it is that what she's holding so i guess you know um yeah i think yeah it's for painting because you have paintbrush here so you know i wouldn't recognize that normally or i wouldn't really um notice that oh there's a baby here so there's so many things that can bring you joy in your life you know it could be your hobby you know if you're into painting and if you're into arts then you know that can be a source of joy for you if you're into reading books that that again is one source of joy for you you know if, you, if you're into nature we have your trees we have like this pool here swimming their music is here um animals like with the bird here and then babies if babies bring you joy you know so, you know, a lot of things will catch your attention in a specific card. So that's what I do. I just sit with them for a while and I look at the images and, you know, find things that will jump out at me that will help me um, connect with the deck better, um, with the cards better. Okay, I didn't show you the backing, so sorry. So the backing is like this. Um, in other reviews that I saw of this deck before, you know, the backing was just kind of like far all this far from the camera so i never really appreciated it but seeing it face to face whoa that's pretty that is really pretty i thought it was just a simple backing with a kind of like stripes and a circle in the middle but looking at it closely it is pretty it's like energies like joining together to form this crystal mandala in the middle and look at the colors it's just stunning okay cardstock not too thick not too thin just right okay evenly cut not edged no gilding but they are gorgeous because this is like kind of like an old-fashioned deck so i was expecting some sort of gilding but i guess they don't do that anymore with hay house anyway um yeah so the images you know i'm i'm not really bothered by the border but i guess how they kind of like labeled the deck is um I think that's what's adding, um, or that's what's removing the timelessness of this deck, I guess, with, you know, the, the um, the concave border with, yeah, maybe that's just me, but these deck, I mean, this deck has, like, several different shadow cards, it has, um, good cards as well so you can't really say that this is just a fluffy deck i think this is a good um, addition to any readings that you might have you might have so you know you have anxiety you have rest you have envy so you know there are so many different um possibilities <laughs> for you oh my god that's creepy yeah, this guy's stealing money okay so i'm gonna go ahead and give you a flip through right now so let's enjoy the um, I'm going to fix this first. So we can enjoy the artwork together. Do you have this deck? What do you think about it? Do you work? How do you work with it? I mean, have you bonded with it? Please let me know in the comments section. And we're going to start off with the flip through. So I'm going to cue in the music.
Okay, so there you go. As you saw, there are a lot of themes in this deck, a lot of different concepts. You have um, keywords that are good, keywords that are, you know, not so good. And then you also have like, um, you know, both light and shadow aspects. But regardless of the, the, the keyword, you know, the images are just gorgeous. Yes, they kind of look a little bit dated. Maybe, I guess it's just me and my aesthetics. Okay, but um, I guess um, the borders and the... Um, how the keyword is represented really shows um, the age of the deck, I guess. Um, but you know, if you don't have these and you know these um, uh, scrolls um, that, uh, yeah, um, <laughs> these are just the images. If if it's the images alone, then these are gorgeous. I would love to trim it, but you know, I'm I'm quite scared to <laughs> to modify my decks except for edging them so yeah look at that so many things going on you know envy she's what she's living in the gray area she's you know looking outside but she's holding a tray of pearls are you seeing it are those pearls so yeah there are so many different themes they're um kind of like strategy you know human themes we have yin and yang so we have esoteric we have physical themes like this one's a very modern looking card and then you have like um, characters personalities you know so you know they're just it's just a wonderful deck it has many different meanings to it um also it um kind of merged um the chakras and the angels so that's also a good thing and then, um, okay, after the chakras, you have like in the Lenormand, you have like, and in the gypsy, in the or gypsy oracle deck and the kipper decks, you have like, you know, um, people cards. I call them people cards. So they could be significators, but also you can add them in your readings, you know. So there's a, a woman holding a coin, a man holding a coin. I think one thing that I, d I did notice that is not present in this deck is diversity diversity age-wise and of course you know colors i think that's the only thing that i can say about this deck um other than that it's it's amazing it's not even a complaint it's just um an observation okay so thank you for hanging out with me and for checking out the energy oracle cards by sandra ann taylor Okay, if you enjoyed this video, please let me know in the comments section if you would like to get it for yourself. Um, if you already have it, if you're working with it, please would love to chat with you guys. So that's it for tonight. Take care and I hope you have a beautiful day ahead. Bye!